quick, convenient, and cheap. Rotisserie chickens are a perfect meal for just about any night of the week, and they probably taste better than anything you can make in your kitchen. When you're looking for a hot meal that's convenient, then grabbing a store-bought rotisserie chicken makes a lot of sense. And they're great with a hunk of fresh bread and some coleslaw, or even just a slathering of sauce. It's an instant family meal that requires zero effort. All you have to do is wait until you get home from the grocery store to eat it. But if you can't wait that long, then nobody's gonna judge you if you grab a handful of chicken in the car. In addition to eating it by itself, there are plenty of other meals you can make with a rotisserie chicken. For instance, once the chicken is cooled down, you can easily turn it into a simple dish like chicken salad. Since plenty of recipes call for shredded chicken, it's just easier to use a rotisserie chicken from the store. All you have to do is chop it up and take the meat off the bones. You can then use a fork to create the shredded texture. If you're wondering what you can make with shredded chicken, how about chicken tacos? And chicken tacos. Thank you. They are ideal when you really don't want to cook much but still want to enjoy a flavorsome meal. To make the filling, fry some onion and bell pepper before adding the chicken and your own homemade seasoning. Serve the mixture in corn tortillas with whatever taco toppings you like. Convenience often comes at a price. Just think about how much you spend on takeout coffees compared to the price of a home-brewed cup of joe. It's one of the many reasons why cooking fresh food is so appealing. Not only do you pay less, but home-cooked dishes are a lot better than ready-to-eat meals and frozen TV dinners. We all know TV dinners! But when it comes to store-bought rotisserie chicken, the appeal is that it's both tasty and affordable. Roast chickens in supermarkets are not driven by profit, meaning the cost is often low. The price tag can be so tempting that you might even end up buying more than one. So why are rotisserie chickens so affordable? Well, there are a couple of possible reasons. The first is that if they weren't turned into rotisserie, then the meat would have passed its expiration date before it was sold. This happens pretty infrequently, however, and many stores sell rotisserie chickens at a low price in order to attract shoppers. Given the ridiculous number of rotisserie chickens that Costco sells, this surely must work. Unless you're heading to a restaurant where you eat in the dark, you'll probably admit that anticipation is part of the enjoyment of eating. Before you even take a bite of rotisserie chicken, the aromas entice. And naturally, the look of the birds, as they rotate on the spit, captures your attention. The fact that you can round the corner of a grocery store and see lots of chickens getting ready to eat is not easy to resist. Grocery shopping can be mighty exhausting, so adding a delicious rotisserie chicken to your already full cart can be an uplifting part of the experience. After all, with all those groceries, you're going to be cooking enough fresh meals already, so you deserve a dinner that's already cooked for you. The idea of cooking chickens on a rotating spit has been around for a very long time. The purpose of this roasting method isn't just to provide a convenient way to cook a lot of chickens at the same time. The spit also affects the flavor and the texture. The sheer size of store rotisseries means that the chickens can be cooked without the bird touching the grill or flame. Unless you have an impressive machine at home, it's not so easy to create the same kind of setup. And when chickens are lined up in a rotisserie, the juices drip down as they cook. This base other birds and builds up flavor. It also keeps the meat nice and succulent and prevents it from drying out. Sure, you can make an incredible roast chicken by constantly basting it. But unless you've got an industrial-sized oven or your own rotisserie, you may not get the same results. If you're wondering why a store-bought rotisserie chicken tastes good, it's probably because of the extra ingredients. After all, these chickens tend to use flavor-enhancing additives or simply greater quantities of them. There are so many additives that are infused into these chickens. Taste aside, consumers should be aware of this so they can make healthier choices. You might want to check out if your rotisserie chicken looks better due to caramel coloring. Ingredients like dextrose can also be added. This affects the taste and texture of rotisserie chicken. Other possible additives include sugars and carrageenan. While carrageenan is a natural ingredient that comes from red seaweed, it's also linked to food allergies, inflammation, and gluten intolerance. So while some of the additives in a store-bought rotisserie chicken may enhance the flavor, you might prefer to know exactly what you're eating. There are some people who remove the skin and only eat the meat of a roast chicken. But for those who can't resist it, the browned, crispy skin on a store-bought rotisserie chicken is too flavorful to discard. In fact, some would say it's the best part. If you're a fan, you'll know just how disappointing it can be when the skin doesn't dry out but somehow stays thin and papery, making it just slide off the top when you cut into it. 
The browning and crisping occurs as a result of what's called the Maillard reaction. This is when the sugars and amino acids react and brown the skin. They also create a deeper flavor and release mouth-watering aromas. The indirect heat of a rotisserie is perfect for this. Is there anything worse than dry chicken? Once the moisture has gone from the meat, it can taste tough and stringy, or bland and chewy. A great rotisserie chicken promises meat that practically melts in your mouth. While it won't fall off the bone like it would if it were stewed, it should still feel soft. So if you're wondering why the chicken you grabbed from the store tastes so much juicier than your own efforts, that could be because the bird has been injected with a salty solution to ensure that it doesn't dry out. Moreover, the whole point of the rotisserie cooking method is that chickens can cook slowly enough to retain moisture. And with a few birds in the oven at once, the constant basting of juices from other chickens ensures that the meat is wonderfully tender. The indirect heat creates a smoky flavor as the skin browns and crisps. At the same time, the chickens aren't grilled but rather slow roasted. You've probably noticed that some stores offer different types of rotisserie chicken, such as lemon herb and barbecue. If you're making a roast chicken at home, then you can create your own rubs to mimic that delicious store-bought flavor. That said, no matter how you cook your chickens, you're still going to need seasoning to make it flavorful. However, while added ingredients may elevate the taste of store-bought rotisserie chickens, it's good to be aware of what these seasonings are. Salt is a major seasoning that's used. Of course, when cooking at home, you know how much you're adding. But do you know how much a store is using for each bird? A Consumer Reports article reveals that rotisserie chickens at Sam's Club have around a quarter of the daily recommended amount of sodium per serving. Fortunately, Kroger and the organic rotisserie chickens from Whole Foods have a lot less salt. While salt, sugars, and spices also boost the meat's flavor, the disadvantage of store-bought varieties is that some are healthier than others. When you are shopping for a whole raw chicken, the labeling and price are big indicators of what you're purchasing. You can easily see if a bird is classified as free-range or organic. Is that USDA organic or Oregon organic or Portland organic? It's just all across the board organic. With a store-bought rotisserie chicken, there isn't generally the same level of signposting about the standard of meat. So when grabbing a rotisserie chicken for dinner, it's just as easy to forget about these kinds of things. Rotisserie chickens are often not as large as raw birds in the meat section. However, some stores make a point of identifying higher quality meat, which is reflected in the price. Whole Foods offers an organic rotisserie chicken, for example, and it tastes pretty good. The only additives used are salt and organic black pepper, which might account for its tastiness. You might find that smaller stores with higher price points buy chickens from more ethical sources and local producers, which can also impact flavor. If you walk past a rotisserie in a grocery store, then you'll probably see some chickens roasting and many others packaged up. However, while the whole point of grabbing one of these birds is that they promise a quick and easy meal, it's worth spending a few moments to make sure that you've chosen the right chicken. By doing so, your ready-made dinner could taste a lot better. If the skin doesn't look brown and crispy, give that bird a pass. However, there's brown, and then there's a deeper shade that may not taste as good. This darker color might suggest that the meat has been roasted for longer. Being in the rotisserie for more time could dry the meat out and make it stringy. If some birds are bigger than others, you might find they are juicier. However, it's not just the size that impacts how well they cook in a rotisserie. Larger chickens may be more mature and tastier too. While you can't check out every aspect of a chicken, telltale signs like blackened parts or skin that looks dried up are less likely to offer the best tasting meat. Stay away from the chicken! There's often a steady stream of birds cooking on the rotisserie during busy grocery times. That means that the chicken you add to your cart is more likely to be fresh and hasn't been hanging around for too long. Rotisseries are fired up at the start of business hours and usually close down by late afternoon. If you love store-bought chicken off the spit, then you might want to time your shopping so that it fits with the rotisserie schedule at your favorite grocery store. If there's a particular seasoned variety you're in the mood for, then you might find that it's only available at certain times of the day. They look great turning on a spit or lined up on a hot counter ready to eat. They taste delicious because the skin is browned and the meat is juicy. And rotisserie chickens bought from the store are super convenient. So this only increases the allure. Still, some birds definitely taste better than others. That said, there's a huge difference in terms of additives and how good or potentially unhealthy a roast chicken is for you. However, not all store-bought rotisserie chicken tastes better. 
cooked chickens sold in bags can dampen crispy skin, thus making it less appetizing. Birds can be over-seasoned or even not seasoned enough. Meanwhile, if the entire bird hasn't been cooked evenly, then the leaner meat will be too dry while the darker meat will taste chewy. Moreover, the additives can create a texture that's gummy. They can make the flavor taste less natural than if you were adding your own herbs and spices at home. Additionally, injections to make chickens juicier can also make them taste slimy or watery. But find a rotisserie chicken that you love, and it's a game changer, even if you do pay a little more.